We're at my favorite store. T -t 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 Target. Here to report that I am once again a fat bitch. This time featuring, yes, the man, Colonel Sanders himself, KFC. Shall we do a Target haul, my loves? I had that gift card to spend and I spent 20 out of 25, so not too shabby. So of course I had to hit up the dollar section, which is always where I do my most damage. First I got a few New Year's things. I got three different little headbands. So that my nieces could have one too. There's this one that says best year ever, but best is crossed out. This one that just says happy new year. And then this goggly alien looking one that I think my younger niece will really like. I kind of like it too, wait. And then also this pack of noisemakers. I also got this Elsa hand sanitizer because how could I not? I got two different sets of these like stamp markers. So they're markers on one side and stamps on the other. One is like a check mark and a star. And then one is like the dollar signal and then a circle. The circle probably means something money related, but I don't know. And I just thought that would be fun to have in my journal. I got a little wall calendar to replace the one I currently have that I also got from Target last year. I got this little organizational thing. It has three different slots. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it just seemed like something that would come in handy. I also got some hummus, but that is downstairs in the fridge. And I got some barbecue chips because I saw them and I couldn't help myself. I just... Also, I had to go to my local grocery store because that's where my pharmacy is. And since I was going there, I picked up these crackers that Target did not have the right kind of. It's the Townhouse Flatbread Crisps Italian Herb and they taste so good with hummus. So yeah, that's it from my little haul. I actually, I mean, I guess I knew that I didn't go crazy because I only spent $20, but like, Honestly, I normally do much worse at Miss Target. I have one other thing to show y'all because this came in the mail today and I did not order anything from Amazon, which means one of you bitches must have been too nice to me again. I'll never stop being surprised that people like want to get me things. Like what? I'm just a person that makes really mediocre videos on the internet and not even like a famous video maker. Like just a random girl from Wisconsin who can't open anything to save her life. Okay, but seriously, what is going on? What's the point of having the little tear part if it's not gonna tear? I'm getting scissors. Okay, so this is a book. Shocking. It's a paperback. Honestly, it could be many things. I'm gonna guess spoiler alert because that's something I talked about recently, so. It might be something that someone thought to get me. No! Oh my god. Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. I literally don't even remember why I wanted to read this, but I remember that I did, and so like, when I would like go through my wish list, I'd be like, oh yeah, I want that. And also, not gonna lie, partly it's the cover. Let's read what it's about. Let's remind myself why I wanted to read this. Without the dead, she'd be no one. Odessa is one of Carthea's master necromancers, catering to the kingdom's ruling dead. Whenever a noble dies, it's Odessa's job to raise them by retrieving their soul from a dreamy and dangerous shadow world called the Deadlands. But there is a cost to being raised. The dead must remain shrouded. If even a hint of flesh is exposed, a grotesque transformation begins, turning the dead into terrifying, bloodthirsty shapes. A dramatic uptick in shade attacks raises suspicions and fears among Odessa's necromancer community. Soon a crushing loss of one of their own leaves Odessa shattered and reveals a disturbing conspiracy in Carthea. Someone is intentionally creating shades by tearing shrouds from the dead and training them to attack. Odessa is forced to contemplate a terrifying question. What if her magic is the weapon that brings the kingdom to its knees? Fighting alongside her fellow mages and a powerful girl as enthralling as she is infuriating. Odessa must untangle the gruesome plot to destroy Carthea before the shades take everything she loves. So cool. It's about raising the dead. I feel like this had like good good reach reviews too. And again, I just love this cover. So let us see who this is from because hello. Hi Bonnie. I hope this book finds you well and vibing. I wanted to give you a little gift for the holidays. Your videos are always a joy to watch and I'm loving your vlogmas content. Enjoy from Haley. Oh, thank you. I am vibing. I mean, 
y'all have once again been way too nice to me this vlogmas season whether it be getting me gifts or just leaving comments every day which i'm really behind on comments i'm sorry but this is so sweet thank you Haley. i can't wait to read this i feel like this is like more of a hidden gem like i don't hear a bunch of people talk about this so like because you know sometimes people just be reading the same shit and it's like there's a whole world out there i think that's it i think that's all the updates i pretty much just did errands today then i came home and had to work late i ate kentucky fried chicken and it was bomb they have the best biscuits period did i read not really um actually not at all i mean like maybe two pages <laughs> let's do our chocolate chocolate Day 21 is up here. Um, hmm. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I thought yesterday's was a boot, but I think this is actually a boot. I don't know what's like sticking out of it. Do you see that? Only four days left of Vlogmas, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and I got this footage of Whitney singing. <laughs> A lovely song and I just I really want to include the whole thing because it was so good so to end off of this vlog here is Miss Whitney with a ukulele cover of WAP Thanks for the vlog content. How to get demonetized 101. 